Hi, I'm Mark from LM Small Engine. Today we're working on a Husqvarna 455 Rancher. They used it a couple years back, let it sit, and now it won't start. So let's check it out and see why I don't want to run. So hope you enjoy the video. Let's take the cover off. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is check the plug, make sure it's not scoring. It's burning okay, a little bit on the rich side, but it's burning okay. Before I put a new plug in there, I'm going to spray a little bit of WD-40 in there to get that piston ring kind of lubricated a little bit before we try starting it. Gap or plug it. 35,000. Make sure our decompression button's working properly. Let's go ahead and pop this. I'm going to blow this off, get that sawdust off there real quick before we go ahead and take that carburetor out of there. Make sure you clear the whole compartment out. You don't want to get no sawdust in the... It looks like we need a Allen wrench. Go grab one of them. Okay, let's go ahead and pop that carburetor off. There's four screws to hold it on. There's two on the bottom, two on the top. Unhook the throttle cable. There's the bottom ones are a lot longer than the top ones. And okay, now we got these little rubber, little rubber boots here. This black piece here has two pins. Just gotta pop them out of them rubber boots there. throttle linkage out of there so you have room make that little protective boot out of there and on our choke Whatever it's like pressed, there's a hole where it's like pressed in there. All right, now we're gonna just put that off to the side. Oh, oh. Few lines. And there we go. There's our carburetor. So I'm going to get that cleaned up a little bit before we tear it apart. Okay, this is a wall barrel carburetor. It's 
don't look too bad. It's kind of kind of stretched out a little bit. If you can see the light there, oh, it's stretched out a little bit. And make sure that screen right there ain't plugged up. Got a bunch of sawdust and stuff on there. It is kind of stiff, you can hear it. So I was going to put a new diaphragm kit in this. Okay, I got a new diaphragm kit here. It's a wall barrel kit. It's for a D10-WTA. I'll go ahead and put this base gasket in first. And where the little pin is, that goes down. Just like that. And it goes in them two pins on top. Get a couple of your screws started. Okay, I'm going to tighten them up now. Okay. I'm well, seeing this old one. If, you, if I push it on the light, see how stretched out it is? And the new one's all nice and flat. That could have something to do with it. Why it don't want to run. We gotta open up our throttle a little bit or else it'll hit that. Adjustment screw, so. Tighten that up. And we got our two mixture screws here. There's an L over here for low. There's an H right there for high. We're just going to turn them out like a quarter turn until we get the thing started. And we'll see if it needs fine tuned. Okay, now we're ready to put it back on the saw. So I'll show this on the side when we get the throttle linkage. You go in here, then we close that into place to lock it. I probably won't be able to show you that when it's in there, so I just want to show you that now. Make sure that's unlocked. Stick this in here, then we'll hook up the fuel lines real quick. And the return line. Okay. What we're doing is just take your time because there's a lot, a lot that we got to do on these Husqvarna. There's more, more to do on these than a lot of the other chainsaws. I'm going to lock that in the place. We'll leave this loose for now because I can get the screws in there. I 
Then on this choke, see how it's spread apart? We push it in that hole in the carburetor for the choke. And that bracket down there. So we'll do that next when we get that lined up. There we go. Okay, now we got to put them pins in them rubber boots. I'm going to use a little angle tool. It seems to be just a little bit easier. There's one side. Make sure everything's working. I can put this boot back in place here so helps prevent sawdust from going in there. There we go. Okay, then just double check, make sure that blue clip is locks the throttle into place. Make sure the choke is working and everything. Now I put some gas in there and I'm going to watch these lines. When we push the primary ball, make sure the fuel is circulating the way it's supposed to. And before we start up, always check your bar oil. So you don't want to be running this without no bar oil in there, else you'll ruin the pump for the bar oil. And we gotta add a little bit. Good thing we checked it. Because you never want to run them without any bar oil. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna blow out this air filter. It don't look too terribly bad. I'm gonna blow it out anyway. Okay, let's see what this thing does now. Push the primer bulb, pull the choke out. When you pull the choke out, it automatically puts it on a fast idle. Push our decompression button in. And once we hear it pop or something, we'll go ahead and push the choke in. Turn that idle up just a little bit here.
enjoyed the video please appreciate you watching if you like my videos please press the like button and please subscribe anyways you have a good afternoon bye